So last week we really focused on finding inverse functions of everything, like real general. We did linear and quadratic, we did square root, we did squares, we did all sorts of different kinds of functions. Okay, today we're specifically going to talk about inverse functions with related to cube functions and cube root functions. Okay, so before we start those specific types of functions, tell me in general, how do you find the inverse of a function? Switch to x and y. I see, I see you going like this, right? Switch x and y, right? So how do you find the inverse of a function? Switch the x and the y. Okay, so one more time. How do we find the inverse of a function? Okay, so why do we say it over and over again? Yeah, to help us remember, right? Okay, help us remember. So if I give you a function like y equals 2 times the cube root of x plus 4, do you think you could find the inverse function of that? Well, what would be the first thing that you do? Switch x and y, okay? So x equals 2 cube root of y plus 4, right? So how do I solve for y now? What do I do first? Nope, not first. Not first. I have to divide by 2 first, yeah. I gotta isolate the, the radical, so I do that by dividing by 2 first. Because 2 divided by 2 is 1, so that simplifies, that goes away. Okay? On the left hand side, I have x over 2, and on the right hand side, I have the cube root, excuse me, of y plus 4. Okay? So, how do I undo a cube root? Cube it. Okay? So, when I cube both sides, wait, what on the left hand side is being cubed? Just the x? Oh, all of it? So like the whole side is being cubed? So wouldn't it make more sense if I did that? It will in a minute. If you don't do it right now, it, you may mess up, but if you, if we'll go ahead and put the parentheses there to imply that we know that everything on that side is being cubed, it'll help us in a minute, okay? Um, well, and in fact, that minute is right now. What do we end up with on the left-hand side? If everything on this side is being cubed, x cubed is just x cubed, right? What's 2 cubed? 8. And if you don't have the parentheses there, chances are you're going to forget about the 2. Okay? So are the parentheses required, first of all? No. Okay? But it helps us remember that everything on that side is being raised to the third power. And on the right-hand side, what do we end up with? y plus 4. Good. So all we have left to do to solve for y is subtract 4 from both sides. x to the third over 8 minus 4 equals y. That is our inverse. Now, does it make sense to you that a cube root function would have an inverse that is a cube? Does that make sense? Yeah, because last week when we talked about these to begin with, we decided that square roots and squares were inverse functions, right? So what does it make sense that cube roots and cubes would also be inverses? Okay, what about fourth roots? Do you think they have an inverse? What would that be? If a cube root has an inverse of to the third power and a square root has an inverse to the, to the second power, what is a fourth root going to have an inverse of? Yeah, to the fourth power. Does that make sense? Does it seem logical? Yeah. Okay, good. What about this problem? y equals 2x to the third minus 4. What do we do first to find the inverse? Switch x and y. So we have x equals 2y to the third minus 4. So what's first? Add 4. Is that the only thing we can do first? No, it's just the easiest. Okay. x plus 4 equals 2y to the third. And now divide both sides by 2. How many different ways could we write the left-hand side? A lot. A lot, right? How do we want to go ahead and write it? 
Yeah, it's really up to you. Even your definition of the easiest way at this point is really up to you, okay? I'm just going to go ahead and leave it x plus 4 over 2 if you're okay with that. If you're not okay with that, tell me what you would rather me write. It's okay? Okay, so how do I undo the cube? Cube root. What on the left hand side is being cube rooted? All of it. Now do I have to use parentheses on this one like I did on the, well, like I recommended you do on the last one? No, I just have to make sure everything is under the root sign, don't I? So y is going to equal the cube root of x plus 4 over 2. Done. Do you have any questions about that?